Hello everyone. Today I'm joined with uh, 257 AFL gamer, 112 NFL gamer, and 14th all-time scorer in the AFL and VFL game, uh, Sav Rocker. Glad you could be here, Sav. Oh, thanks, Daniel. So, Sav, you've had a very impressive career with two Anzac Medal awards, multiple club leading goal kicker awards, and now inducted into the Collingwood Hall of Fame. You've had a great insight within the culture in the AFL club rooms. How was your experience at, the Col at Collingwood? It was great. Um, I, I certainly, I came from a, a background of shot put and discus and going from that into AFL was certainly um, a bit of a challenge for me because you know, shot put and discus, you're obviously concentrating on yourself um, and individual, um, you know, improvement and performance. Whereas going into the, the AFL and, and Collingwood in particular, um, I had to start focusing on how I could help the team and what we could do for the team and how the team was going to win. So the actual culture um, and the, the whole team aspect was certainly different to what I was used to. But it was, you know, it was great to have, you know, a focus and an aim where a whole collective a club wanted to do and wanted to achieve. So it was awesome. So was the transition between discus, um, was the transition between going from shot put and discus to AFL, was that a big decision for you, uh, deciding on what you wanted to do with your future? Yeah, because I, I actually competed um, at a high level. I, I won the Australian Championships in discus and my aspirations was to, to go to the Olympics um, around about the 96 to 2000 Olympics. So that was where I wanted to go at that point in time. And then football came along. Um, so to, to make the, the decision to go to football, I had to give up my athletic entirely. And I, I wasn't sure if I was comfortable with that. It would take me a couple of weeks to, you know, to, to come down to that decision to actually leave and, and actually do my you know, football at that point. Well, that's, uh, well, I think the AFL world is very happy that you stayed with AFL. <laughs> And then in your future career, you went to the NFL to play for Philadelphia Eagles and Washington. Um, yep. What made you decide that you wanted to leave the AFL game behind and go to on the NFL, um, the NFL career? Yeah, well, I was getting towards the end of my career in the AFL and I thought, you know, I've still got a, a burning desire to compete. Um, and staying here, I wasn't sure what that was going to be. Um, I didn't really you know, not what, know what I was going to do after football. But what I did know is that I wanted to compete. So then I thought, yeah, let's give the punting a go. And if we can make it over there, it'll be a great adventure, um, not only for myself, but for my family. We'd be able to pack up and go over there for a few years. And we did. And, and, and going over there was a great decision. We had a, you know, a, a great time as a family. Um, I had one of my kids over there and we, we grew up and we spent a lot of time together. So it was awesome. And you were talking about the AFL, your AFL bond as a team was very strong at Collingwood. When you went over to the NFL, was it a very similar bond or was there any differences? Quite a bit was different. The, the team being pretty thick, I mean, about 90 odd players, 92 players, and that gets cut down to 53 um, just before the season. Um, and there's a special team, uh, which I was involved in. Um, there's an offensive team and there's a defensive team. So I didn't really have much to do with the offensive and defensive team, but I did have a lot to do with the, the special team. Um, and more so with the snapper who snapped the ball to me and the kicker. So they were my buddies um, and who I had a lot to do with. So the team camaraderie is there, but not quite as much as what it is over here in Western Australia. Well, that's a great insight. Uh, what is the main thing you miss about the US game that you believe should be added to the AFL game? Oh, I reckon they, they have a bit of a party atmosphere over in, in the States. You know, the whole pre-game build up, the, you know, the parking lots are full with everyone in them and, and having a good time with barbecues and all that sort of stuff. And then pre-game, you know, they'll have uh, soldiers and music and, you know, flyovers and all that sort of stuff. And I reckon we could probably do that a little bit better over here, I, I, the thing is, uh, it does cost a lot of money to do all that, so it might be a little bit hard. Um, but you know, I certainly do think that 
you know, we could have filled it up and hype it up a little bit more. Well, thanks for coming, Sav. Um, you've really given us some insight on the AFL and NFL career, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for coming. Uh, it's been a pleasure, mate. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Thank you.